And you have these kind of big wide hips and the thalamus being these two halves of the thalamus. There's been at least, uh, I think, a hundred Venus statues found all over Europe. But when I was looking at, at this wireframe rendering of the brainstem, it seemed to be, again, almost undeniable that this shape, even the, the, the shape of her belly, it was, it was showing uh, you know, a work of art that's you know, from 28,000 to 25,000 BC, and it's depicting brain anatomy. And that, that was sort of an interesting revelation and almost seemed kind of difficult to comprehend because it doesn't seem to fit in with our normal understanding of what we've been told about history. Uh, and so I started to look more at this Venus statue I started to realize there was aspects of the Venus statue, the Venus of Willendorf in particular, that I hadn't noticed before, which is that she has arms. And I had never caught that in art history class, but she's got these spindly, disproportionate arms that she's resting on top of her breasts. And they don't fit her bulbous body shape at all. They're really skinny and, and, and sort of out of place. And again, it just made me think back to the trigeminal nerve. It made me think about the fact that these arms are coming right out of the ponds. In, in, in the Artemis and Diana statues, they're kind of at her side. But when you look at images of the trigeminal nerve, they are, they're sticking out of the ponds, and then they go out and do their, the nerves go out to the face, and they do these other things. But so, these other, there's other Venus statues that have been found throughout Europe. And if you look at other of the Venus statues, you start to see other things that kind of clue you in to brain anatomy as well. But so you can look at the back of uh, this Venus of Lespug and see these lines on the back of what would be her legs. And they tie in extremely similarly to the lines that appear on the back of the brain stem. Now, there's some people that have suggested that these lines are representative of a skirt or a dress. Um, but in my mind, I think that seems kind of strange because you don't see them carrying around to the front of, of her legs. 